Immortals. He's got a lot of actually Marines right now, um, which are very good against the Immortal Shields. Another warp in on there, a little bit of a lag. Do hope it's not me. Game Bomber left the game. Absolutely fantastic there. I don't think it was me. No, it wasn't me. Anyway, um, oh look. There we go. Shooting away onto this. This is actually really annoying because it's like having to repair a barracks actually when it's under constant fire is quite resource intensive. Now, factory is actually very, very late, so these stims are actually going to have to count. They're, well, they're going to have to really, really count because obviously, um, you know, units get progressively weaker. We see an immortal being focused down there. We want to be careful with that as well. But uh, slowly but surely, we have Semper. I mean, he's just trickling out units and. Hitman is just, I say that this barracks being shot down here is actually being a real pain in the backside and these immortals are doing so much damage to it right now, we have a look at the, I mean the economy, it might be good for Semper but you think about it, you've got like all these SEVs repairing it and they're not, you know, not going on units and now we see Hitman poking on up, this is going to be the big key kind of fight, force field does go down on their kills off the Bunker oh so easily, nice time walk coming on down, Immortals coming on in, they're just doing so much damage right now, the turret is finally getting some use there, shooting off this uh, at the Mothership Corps, but second bunker going down there, and there we go, there's the GG, and Hitman taking a very, very convincing win there, with a very nice Immortal bust. I say that barracks, I say, like, the uh, like I, I was trying to mention it, is that when... You've got half your SCVs off, like when you pull off half your SCVs, uh, you know, it's all very well that, you know, they're just, uh, they're, like, they're off. Okay, so they're not mining, but when they're actually sucking out minerals as well, you're having to repair this barracks, and the barracks was useless. I mean, it was, the only thing that was keeping going was the, was the uh, stim upgrade, and then he kept on repairing it, and he's got, like, so for a 15 mineral marine you're actually losing like something like 150 minerals a second or something it's like repairing stuff is actually astronomically expensive so um i yeah i, f I feel that kind of i mean just need to lift the barracks put a better bunk of positioning but obviously it's very easy for me to say well you should have been driving on the other side of the road and then you wouldn't have hit that truck uh etc etc um so uh yeah backseat drivers but nonetheless um, nonetheless, very well played by by our friend uh, Hitman with his bald head and his barcode. So um, yeah, that means he does take up. Yeah, he does take the team uh, gravity to two zero. And I, I say I do like this ballsy kind of aggressive play. Aggressive play is always so interesting to cast. It's always horrible to play against, but to cast is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so anyway, let's read some chat messages. See how you're all up to. Uh, La da da da. Not a lot, not a lot, and we have hit thirty-two thousand views, which is absolutely fantastic. I couldn't have done without all your support. Um, <coughs> and of course, guys, if you do enjoy said stream, then please, 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 do of course um, click the follow button. Now, is this hosted on Team Liquid? I it must feel rather stupid if it was. No, it's not. But we do have on at the moment. What do we have? WCS America, Challenger League, and we also have one more game. And there's a lot of brood war going on at the moment, actually. A fan, huge amount of brood war. Um, now, waiting for the next player. Now, how many? Go, how many? Yeah, they've got one grandmaster. Hitman is actually quite good by all accounts. I've heard his name before. Um, a very aggressive Protoss, but nonetheless, does it very well. Um, anyway, I'm going to be putting some more music on, guys. Um, I know we do have the next invite. Well, hey, we have the next invite. So, well, let's. Wait and see who the next kind of victim for Hitman is, and uh, we can rock on through. 
La da da da. Hello, Azamato, and thank you for everyone else who has tuned in and joining my little my little late night endeavours. Last time I was choking myself to death. We have puppy paws as well for Eternal Dream. It was a real kind of yeah, puppy paws did fantastic things the other day in the SCA um, weekly. But now we have Fiasco for Team Gravity. So can someone take him out? I didn't actually see the matchup, but it is a PvP and introducing our first player on the map, Derelict Watcher. We have Plague for Gravity. It is Fiasco. And of course, Danny from <laughs> left hand corner, Plague for Eternal Dream is currently 2 0 up, looking for his third consecutive win. It is none other than Hitman. So, PvP. PvP, PvP. Um, yes. But anyway, going back to the chat to see who's about. We have us, Matto, and some other wonderful people. Um, so, yeah, do tell me where you're from and so on. Um, let me know. Uh, you know, get to know my audience. Sorry about it, just alt tabbing and so on. Um, and we have good luck, have funds and so on going down. And again, Derelict Watcher, one of these, um, not Derelict Watcher. Is it Derelict Watcher? Of course it is. Derelict Watcher. Um, it's one of those great little maps. Um, again, you can go for aggressive builds, there's great little proxy locations. Um, so you can mix in your aggression and also you can actually go for like a little bit of a macro play. You can go for, the, you know, if, you're, if you prefer the defensive game. Um, and so on. I saw some, I see again, I've seen some great Stargate play. I saw a great, uh, I can't remember the name of the Chinese player now, but he did a great, uh, we saw like a Gateway Expand and he went for Oracle or Stargate, Three Gate Stargate basically. Uh, but it was very, very effective at taking it on down and just uh, with a kind of a lethal kind of force of Stalker just walked all over his opponent. But anyway, we see both players going for that 15 gas. They were popularized by Sase all those years ago. And uh, <coughs> Gateway's coming down at 13, looking very, very normal. Um, and uh, yeah, we see, we see Hitman, he does like favor his aggression. He does like to put on a bit of pressure. So maybe we'll see the same again, perhaps a blink, <coughs> perhaps a robo play. <coughs> so, but it's got dropping down for both players. And we've got these four gas as well. So it's both players, they've got flexibility with their build. Uh, they can, you know, let's say go for the expo, get their mothership core. They can play defensive, aggressive, blah blah blah, um, and so on. And we sure will, as soon as this cybernetic core finishes up, we'll be seeing kind of what kind of tech path we'll be going for. Fiasco is going to be going for that three stalker pressure, whereas Hitman is just relying on one gate for right now, um, and is saving a little bit of credit boost. So uh, we may actually see three gate pressure from Hitman actually, and. Uh, a sentry. Interesting. Okay, so. Okay, so we've got a sentry first from Hitman, and out of uh, Fiasco, we actually have Stalkers. Yeah, it's going to be three Stalker pressure, so may even actually be some DTs from Hitman. Um, why DTs? Because, uh, you know, the first sentry you come out, you get the fourth, you have that force field to knock about the ramp while you tech the Templar. Uh, tech to, you know, get your template archives, uh, but I could be just talking out my backside, but at least that's kind of the uh, gut feeling I'm getting at the moment. We've got the mothership core as well, poking around looking for those little proxy locations, and wait a moment. Actually, I thought I was going. Actually, I thought, thought I was going mad for a moment. I thought actually you could build a mothership core. Um, and there we go. Okay, so it's blink. So he's going to go. It, nonetheless, it was an aggressive build. Um, but yes, yes, I was a little bit mad there. Anyway, so uh, oh my goodness me! He used that hallucinated phoenix there. 
time warp going down and actually minting through all of these units right now. Stalker is going to go on down. Just a sentry on left. He's going to have to rely purely on his mothership core. Photon Overcharge is going to have to be activated. Waiting for the very, very last second right now. There we go. Waits for his probes to be hit and then fires it off. I like this. So I've kind of bought as much time as humanly possible. Warp Gate is going to be timing out really, really nicely as well. But obviously... Um, we have Fiasco actually with the higher stalker count right now. Uh, we have uh, five stalkers currently for each part. No, six to five right now. So he's got to be careful with each one of these. Mothership Core, Photo Nova George has been dropped as well. Blink is desperately being chrono boosted out right now. Does have kind of that high ground vision, but he snipes off that first. Stalker <coughs> and actually hit out with some nice micro actually does take out another one. Second Stalker is going down. We have another warp in behind it. Blink is almost finished as well, but the FPS is just bullying on him with all of the Blink is so close to be finished right now. He's desperately trying to micro out of it, trying to focus that background so back stalker there. But the micro fiasco is really, really nicely actually, and he's just focusing down all of these stalkers one by one, even with this blink upgrade on the way right now. Um and no player producing anything actually. There we go, two more stalkers on the way. Still three, five stalkers to three stalkers with an oracle somewhere to be seen right now. There we go, oracle is on the way. It's gonna even, for, you know, it's gonna even be gonna be a real pain. Anyway, now he has blink actually. He can just blink on back. He isn't actually using it right now. There we go, there we go. There's the blink finally coming into it. Zealot is actually doing a fantastic job of taking out all of these stalkers right now. And fiasco. Actually not really paying attention actually, and uh, I think he was looking at a warp in right now. Anyway, uh, still trying to save the day here, but the Oracle is coming on in. Has he got enough to deal with it? Blink's in, trying to pick it off. Really nice actually, all kind of blink there from Hitman. Just last kind of ditch effort to save his probe line. Does save it because he only has two stalkers and two zealots right now, whereas we have five stalkers and a mothership score still for Hitman as well. <coughs> we have a forward pylon as well, which he can, could potentially use to warp in something. Um, and, wow. Is Fiasco holding back? I mean, with such an advantage, no, he's not going to hold back. That'd be so silly. Anyway, there we go. Three... Wow, four stalkers, three zealots. Can they take out some sort of micro battles right now? Retreating on back behind his mineral line, waiting for another war pod in there. Nice blinks there coming from Hitman. Does focus down those zealots though, really, really nicely. Trying to shoot down that mothership core right now. There's currently three zealots to the seven stalkers right now. Four stalkers, should I even say? More stalkers are reinforcing, even with Blink right now. <sighs> It's so close right now. I mean, Hitman really is hanging on by the edge of his pants, but numbers is just the game here. And with his back against the wall, Fiasco, I feel, is just going to punch her through. But anyway, more more kind of uh, warpings coming on in. And uh, once again, Hitman is pushing him back. Wow, two more stalkers actually joining into the fray. That blink really coming in quite nicely. Another good blink there, but of course, Fiasco just picking off the weak ones. Easy peasy there. But of course, the ones at the front actually do kill off and wow hitman hitman wow he is he is somehow whole <laughs> hitman holes this is absolutely fantastic a really really nice hold from hitman actually and now we have stalkers coming in from behind i really like this flanking action actually and <coughs> this is yeah this is really really nice from Oh, I say this is fantastic play from Hitman. He actually manages to stabilize. He doesn't lose too much of his economy. And now he is in back into... Yeah, now this game is back to anyone's right now. We have Stargate, obviously, coming out for... Well, came down for Fiasco. We have a Robo as well for those Immortals. He doesn't want to really deal with it. Blink Stalkers. Um, and we have a Void Ray as well. He's going to look to clear up all of the pylons. But obviously... Um, yeah, a fantastic hold for him, but obviously Blink versus Stargate, he has a little bit of an advantage right now um, in the terms of maneuverability, the ability to get on top of his opponent, and this is just primarily Zealots versus a Void Ray, um, or Zealots versus a Void Ray. Void Ray would obviously win, but this is uh, Blink Stalkers versus a Void Ray, because uh, the uh, 
Blink and Sulkers just have so much maneuverability. Chrono Boost is dropping down there on top of all of these gates. Hitman really means business. And we have a look at the unit count. It's currently 6, 7, 11, Stalkers and 1, Voidray. Wow, Hitman is just come back from...